Welcome to the Weekly Bat. Welcome to the Weekly Bat for the week of July 6th, 2020. Starting off the week with an upcoming appearance, Brendan Eich, Brave CEO, will be presenting at Binance's Off the Charts virtual conference on July 14th, 2020. Here are some details from the Off the Charts Eventbrite page. Join Binance as we kick off our third anniversary with one of our biggest blockchain events of the year. Get the latest news and updates on all things blockchain and crypto, and take an exclusive look at what's coming next at our Off the Charts virtual conference, a blockbuster 10-hour live event with multi-regional programming that brings together 80-plus influential speakers, including leading blockchain and crypto innovators, business and technology leaders, influential academics, and key policymakers. Expect to hear the latest insights on the blockchain ecosystem from some of the industry's most prominent leaders and visionaries. Join our can't-miss event with powerful talks, breakthrough panels, opportunities to win prizes, and much more. The link where you can register for free for the event is in the Weekly Bat blog post. Up next, Brave's Senior Developer Relations' Jonathan Sampson was on the JavaScript Jabber podcast. The episode was number 437, and it is titled Inside the Brave Browser with John Sampson. Here's the episode description. John Sampson hops into the Jabber session to talk about the Brave browser. He and the panel wander through the topics of privacy, browser design, and features. As always, we've included a link to the episode in the Weekly Bat blog post. This week in Sponsored Images. This week, find images from BlockFi, Crypto.com, and Nexo in Brave's new tab page. These brands all return to the new tab page following the success of their recent sponsored images campaigns. Our growing list of new tab page sponsors includes brands like Verizon, PayPal, Newegg, Western Digital, Chipotle, Khan Academy, Crypto.com, Tezos, Upland, and more. Up next, Brave Creator Spotlight, in partnership with Everipedia. Our first featured creator of the week is Joel Com. American author, internet marketer, podcast host, and YouTuber. After dominating the early internet, creating hit mobile apps, and writing best-selling books, legend Joel Combs is now helping bring blockchain to the masses. Building online businesses since 1995, Joel's career has spanned multiple niches. From authoring books and being on the cutting edge of the social media space, to developing software and apps, to training people all over the world, Joel's videos reflect the diversity of his unique style. He is also currently the host of the Bad Crypto Podcast, alongside fellow technologist and crypto enthusiast Travis Wright. On the show, the pair attempt to demystify the world of crypto and blockchain for newcomers. The Bad Crypto Podcast has hosted Brave's very own Luke Mulks, director of BizDev, in an episode titled Delete Google Chrome, Install the Brave Browser. You don't want to miss that. We've linked it in the Weekly Bat blog post, of course, and we've also included links to Joel's personal YouTube channel, as well as the link to the Bad Crypto Podcast YouTube channel. Finally, we've also included a link to Everipedia's entry on Joel Combs. Our second featured creator of the week is Josh Olshowicz, also known as Carpe Noctom, American writer, trader, and YouTuber. Josh is a self-taught trader who began his journey into the world of Bitcoin in 2013. Today, he shares his crypto knowledge and technical analysis with his 25k YouTube channel subscribers. We've included links to his channel and his Everipedia article in the Weekly Bat blog post, so you can check him out and he can help you, as he likes to say, build your trading toolkit. Up next, client updates. This week, the Desktop Nightly channel progressed to version 1.12.70. The Desktop Dev channel graduated to version 1.11.87. And the Desktop Beta channel progressed to version 1.11.84. Stay ahead of bugs and benefit from all the latest updates and fixes by keeping your Brave browser updated to the latest version at all times. To update your Brave browser on desktop, go to brave colon double slash help. 
On mobile, if you don't receive updates automatically, you can manually update your browser app from the Play or iOS app stores. Brave Team Tweets This week, at Run Happy Life on Twitter wrote, If you were given the chance to rename JavaScript, what would you call it? People responded all kinds of things like just JS or plural or thy script. <laughs> but then Brendan Eich, Brave CEO, the inventor of JavaScript, chimed in and wrote, we are not renaming JavaScript. I have spoken. So there you have it. That solves that debate. Brave's Jonathan Sampson tweets, I updated brave.com slash transparency to reflect a Brave team purchase of 577,462 bat. That brings our total tokens purchased to about 4.3 million. If you aren't already opted into Brave Rewards and ads, check out the page brave.com slash brave dash rewards to learn more. In a poll asking users what their favorite browser was, Tom DeCiccio tweeted, Brave. I did some early promotion with them using their affiliate program, and now it's a reliable source of income for me. At one point, I was featured as a, quote, small creator who used the platform alongside larger names like Philip DeFranco. Also, it's the fastest running mobile browser. Easy choice. To which Brave's Luke Mulks replies, Awesome. Love seeing these stories from Brave creators about how BAT has become a reliable source of income for them. BAT and Brave in the news. This first piece is from Blocked. Best privacy browsers for private secure browsing in 2020. In this article, we will show you the best browsers for protecting your online privacy and walk through ways to make them even more private and secure. We'll also talk quickly about why you should avoid some of the most popular browsers if you care about your privacy. Skipping ahead a little bit, if you want to protect your privacy while helping some good folks try to rebuild the web into something better, then click the link to find out more about Brave. Brave also has some notable users including Joe Rogan and Naval Ravikant, just to name a few. We actually use Brave and recommend it to friends. It is probably my favorite browser out of all currently available. Having its own utility token is a very nice experiment and it is going to be interesting to see how it plays out in the next few years. News you should know. This piece was borrowed from the Week in Ethereum News newsletter, and it's by Coindesk. PayPal, Venmo to roll out crypto buying and selling. Sources. Fintech giant PayPal plans to roll out direct sales of cryptocurrency to its 325 million users, according to three people familiar with the matter. Currently, PayPal can be used as an alternative means to withdrawing funds from exchanges such as Coinbase, but this would be a first in terms of offering direct sales of crypto. Quote, my understanding is that they are going to allow buys and sells of crypto directly from PayPal and Venmo, a well-placed industry source told Coindesk. They are going to have some sort of built-in wallet functionality so you can store it there. It is unclear which or how many cryptocurrencies will be available. The industry source said they expect PayPal, quote, would be working with multiple exchanges to source liquidity. A second source confirmed that PayPal is looking to offer buying and selling of crypto and said the service would be expected, quote, in the next three months, maybe sooner. PayPal declined to comment on the plans. This next piece is an op-ed by Andrew Yang for the Los Angeles Times. Make tech companies pay you for your data. Whenever you sign up for a new social media service or website, or download an app onto your phone or computer, you'll typically see some long disclaimer language written in legalese. You'll scroll through it quickly and click the I agree button, right? This fine print is known as a privacy policy. It essentially lays out, sometimes in the most convoluted way possible, how the site or app can use or share your data. The problem is, no one actually reads the language. You just click yes and hope for the best, since that's the price you pay for a free website or app or social media network. It seems like a pretty sweet deal. But that's not the deal we're getting. Ooh, too bad we have to cut that one short, but the link to it and all other articles whose headlines we cover are in the Weekly Bat blog post, of course. Roaring fans. Will Waltz from Twitter writes, Nice. iOS 14 will let me set Brave as my default browser. Hashtag nerd stuff. Dan Shaper from the Bad Crypto Podcast tweets, I've been intrigued by Brave browser since its introduction. For that reason, I was really happy to have Brave Samson on the JavaScript Jabber podcast. He explained its philosophy and operation and impact on web content creators. Excellent show. To close off this week, DeAngelis from Reddit 
posted a video of them using their uphold card at Starbucks to pay for a coffee with Bat. So cool. That's a wrap for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you would like to read the full stories whose headlines we cover on the podcast, be sure to read the accompanying Weekly Bat blog post. You can find that on batcommunity.org always. Or if you're listening on YouTube, check the description box below the video for a link. And if you're listening on a podcast app or player, check the show notes. Thank you for listening. If you like these podcasts, be sure to follow or subscribe to stay up to date with the Bat community.